What's up everyone? I'm Ruben Dax here with Roly, and I'm gonna give you an overview of Roly Studio Player, an amazing plugin and standalone app that combines the world's largest library of MIDI polyphonic expression sounds with inspiring composition, performance, and sound design tools. Roly Studio Player is free with all Roly instruments, and it takes full advantage of their expressive and customizable capabilities. Just download the application through Roly Connect and you're good to go. Roly Studio Player is great for producing, performing, and songwriting. You can use it as a standalone app, or you can open it as a plugin inside any DAW. Here I'll be using Bitwig Studio, where I've already got some drums laid down. So, let's choose our first sound. One of the great things about Roly Studio Player is that for the first time, all of the presets from Roly sound engines, including Equator, Cypher, and Strobe, can be accessed in the same place. It even includes many of the sounds from the mobile app Noise. Plus, if you've customized or designed any of your own presets, they can be accessed right in the user tab. Let's expand the sound section and narrow down our options with some filters. I'm using Roly hardware and an MPE compatible DAW, so let's try out the MPE sounds. Now let's try out an acoustic pluck sound. And I'm a huge fan of the Cypher 2 Fundamental sound pack, so let's look there. Okay, looks like we've got two presets to choose from. Rustic Guitar Pluck. And Harp Intimate. Nice. All right, I like that one, so I'm gonna save it to my favorites with the heart icon or I can do it directly on the live block. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five different macro parameters that I can experiment with to adjust the chosen sound. I can of course manipulate these on screen with the mouse, but what if I wanna get out of my computer and maybe even record live automation? Luckily, in Roly Studio Player, you can assign a light pad block to control any of the parameters that you see on screen. All I have to do is make sure that hardware control is enabled and then drag the image of your block onto any area of the interface. Now you can see I've got three faders and an XY pad to control my macros. And if I want this block to always control these parameters, even after I close the plugin window, I can just click the lock icon. Okay, so let's adjust these macros a bit and then we can record something. Now let's take a look at some of Roly Studio Player's smart features. These tools can help you create really interesting ideas in a fast and easy way. So, I want to record this new track using the light pad. So the first thing I want to do is select the scale that my song is in, in this case, C minor. Now you can see that all of the notes of C minor have been highlighted on the surface of the light pad. Now let's lay down some chords using the Smart Chords feature. This can be activated on screen or directly on your live block. Smart Chords turns single notes into full chords that are all fixed to a chosen scale. It's a great way to come up with really cool chord progressions in a fast way. Every chord is a triad by default, but you can easily adjust the type of the chord for each scale degree. In fact, we can even make these changes directly on the hardware using a light pad block. So triad, sus4, 6th, 7th, 9th, all the way to 11th. So let's say for A flat and B flat we have an 11th, and everything else will be triads. Let's record a loop using one of my favorite sounds, Blade Runner Brass. Now let's try out the multi-layer arpeggiator. It's a powerful tool for creating complex rhythmic patterns based on the notes that you're playing. You can either choose from a list of presets 
or you can manipulate the parameters yourself and create your own patterns. And of course, we can control all of the arpeggiator parameters using a light pad block. Now the Rolly Studio Player Arpeggiator is actually made up of three different layers operating simultaneously. I can select the different layers here, and I can manipulate the parameters using these faders. The rhythmic cycle can have either 16 or 24 possible hits. Let's try 11. And then let's make sure that the rate is 16 notes. Now let's add in a second layer, but let's have it only be five hits per cycle, and let's offset that pattern by 13. All right, let's try it out. You can even combine the arpeggiator with smart chords for some really interesting results. Now let's try out the audio effects. This is a great module for hardware control because I can easily make adjustments mid-performance or record automation after the fact. Each effect preset is actually an entire effects chain, combining delays, reverbs, filters, etc. Each effect preset is controllable in an XY layout. In single view, you have plenty of real estate for fine-tuning your effect. However, I'm going to use the multi-view right now so that I can control four different effects presets simultaneously. By default, the effects are only active while you're interacting with them, perfect for dramatic momentary changes. However, you can also use them in hold mode in which the effects will persist wherever you leave them. All right, let's try playing a pad with one hand while controlling the audio effects with the other. As you can see, Rolly Studio Player is an awesome way to streamline your entire workflow, from choosing sounds to MIDI effects, audio effects, and hardware control. It's already completely changed the way that I use Rolly Instruments. But what I've shown you really only scratches the surface of what it can do. So download it through Rolly Connect and try it out yourself.